All right, welcome to the stream. Today I'm really excited. I'm playing through Full Throttle Remastered on here. This game came out back when I was 13 years old. I played the heck out of it back on my um, zip ass PC. And about uh, what, two years ago, it actually came out as a remastered version, and I've been itching to play it ever since then. Uh, I got into a little bit about uh, this weekend when I downloaded the game for the first time, played a little bit of it, and it was amazing. And I uh, just want to take you all through it again. Got about four hours, I think, to play through, and I'm excited about jumping in and seeing how far we get in the game for today. Without further ado, let's hit the road, Polecats. Whenever I smell asphalt, I think of Marine. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. It's never that easy, Ben. Ever. Yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan, my vision. I know your plan, Rip Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Oh, sir, <laughs> that's horrible. I am not waiting for you to die. You know I've never liked you, Rip. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. Why, thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours... Riding up to our shareholders' meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. Rip it's Burger good is PR a Mark to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Motors I customers. I recognize the Joker What do you know about our bit. customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. Well, you know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Ah, your ears are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. Now there go some boys I can ride with. Step on it. Let's find out who they are. Fancy gotta love this game just for the music.
<laughs> hey, Ben. Hmm. You know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Eh, uh, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> All right! Who's the guy that drove over my car? What could possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two-by-four. Hmm. That's called foreshadowing. Appealing notion, but improbable. More likely he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> so who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We have come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The Polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish. Rip Burger! That does it! I'm gonna... Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Rip Burger for a little chat. Excellent idea. The nod. Watch out, Ben. And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The Polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the Rotwheelers. The old man says it's the polecats or nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word? That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200-pound loose end. <laughs> it will need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll him, boys. Yahoo! Corbill, here we come! I love this is actually a newer game, and they kept in the long, like, blank screens between it all that used to be, because we used to be on a CD, you know, the loading times for it all. It's kind of cool they kept it all in. All right. Backspace. Skip cutscene. Yeah, not doing that. Bike by no. Commentary. There's a commentary on here. You can switch the render mode on to actually make it look like the old game. I kind of want to see the new game. It looks pretty cool. Uh, okay. Enter tab. All the good stuff. Open inventory. No, I'm not doing that. And actually, the remastered version on PlayStation. That's pretty cool. I'm a Nintendo fan, but uh, that's cool. PlayStation got that. <laughs> Here's Ben. I've woken up and worse. 
You see all the things you can highlight and just look at. They're empty. Empty boxes. He really should flatten these so they can be recycled. Yeah, not only is he a hardened biker, he cares about the environment. Good thing Ripburger didn't touch my bike. Good thing for him. Some joker took my keys. I don't like that. That's not good. The kickstand. These games right here, little point clicks. These are actually really cool back in the 90s. I was getting a bit of a research. Uh, Tumbleweed Park mm -hmm. game. If you want to check that one out. Open up. It's empty, but I can see the bartender in there. I'm not putting my lips on that. Open up. Oh, no. Oh, he's getting it. I, uh, fixed your door. It was sticky. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang took off with those... those well-dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Mm -hmm. I want to know who knocked me out. Maybe you just passed out. You should learn to handle your liquor. I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? Oh, 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 oh. we'll just leave a moment. Let's just kind of explore a little bit. That's one big fish. Yep. What's this? It's a big blobby gray shape. I was taking an art class. Those might look good mounted on my handlebars. Nah. Are you the guy with the lampshade on his head? Or the guy chugging out of the punch bowl? Lampshade. <laughs> Fifteen guys with towels in their belts? My graduating class from bartending school. This is educated. This your pit bull? Nah, that's my baby picture. Whoa. Watch it, that's my sister. Alright, so this is apparently good looking. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Uh, anything else from clear? Oh, there's more stuff up there. Our screen. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Yeah, the signal is piped in from Kickstand National Headquarters. Uh. Ah, booze. Hmm. It's empty. Don't get any ideas. All right, buddy. What do you have? Where'd everybody head off to? What am I, the cruise director? Maybe they're up on the Lido deck. Oh, he's <laughs> asking for it now. You want something? Where's the keys? I'm looking for my keys. I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. You gonna order something? No. Alright. You know what might look better on your oh, nose? My keys. What? The bar. Oh. Now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man. Here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh... Someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there, but why ambush the pole gants? I'd better get moving. Let's go.
everything all crazy. When I'm on the road, I'm indestructible. No one can stop me. But they try. Oh, it's go time. Hey! Ain't you the A number one polecat honcho? Yeah, and you're in my way. Well, get used to it, bud. When the rock wheelers hit the road, we own it. Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the pole cats. Someone's ambushing oh, the pole cats? Oh, heavens. Whatever will we do? <laughs> that does it. Come on, kitty. Let's get down. This is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Um. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. <gasps> it's Marine. What are you? I'm a mechanic. And apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished, though. How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can what? you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Yeah, Mo. Yeah, last name, Mo. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. All right. Where'd you learn Where'd bikes? You learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hard tail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. <laughs> You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. All right. This an authorized Corley Service Center? Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Look, if you want me to finish this thing... Say no more. Alright, let me get back to work. 
Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Alright, big thing point and clicks. Grab everything. What's we got over here? I hate seeing her like this. Why? It's really my best side. <laughs> Grab that hose. What else we got? What else we got? That's it. Oh, good. You're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? Somewhere between here and Corville. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting. And there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Alright. See, it's a car. I don't know about a car, but... Um, uh, Gotta get I, up there. I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I... I need... Come on, man, spit it out! Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. Yeah, I don't trust her. I almost got here. It's empty. Alright, so I'm gonna click on. Lies! Lies! She says she had no car. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. Okay, so of course I've played this game before. We gotta get three things. We get Moe's welder back, the forks, and gas. So, we're gonna go right over there where the lights are kinda lit up. Go say hi. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very sub-code wiring. Who's out there? Hey! I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy! I don't got time to wait. I'm a friend of Moe's. I need... Listen, I didn't take no welding torch. You hear me? I'm no crook. So get off my back. I admitted to it right then. What do you want? I got a guy coming to look at my... This is important. Not to me, you freaky looking hood. Now bait it. Oh, I don't like this you guy. You for a reason? Yeah. Todd was a... This view defines true beauty. A little annoying already. Okay, we got here, we got the lockpick. Grab that guy. What else we got? His decor has a strong carnival coin toss flavor to it. I pictured him having a much larger fridge. Oh, betcha. Give me some uh, raw meat in my pocket. You know, big deal. Uh, what else we got in here? That's it. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Ouch. 
You sprayed it. I think maybe the flamingo might be kind of cool. I hope he's not trying to bring these to life or anything like that. He's the real sort of Skynet. Not a bad version, really. That would make a good mailbox post in hell. I had a dog with a funnel on its head when I was a kid. Hm. Look at this, Moe's torch, right? Better hustle this back to Mo. <clears throat> One done? That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, a little gas, and we're set. All right, one down. Should we go for the forks first or the gas first? What do y'all think? I think I heard the uh, welding forks first. How about that one? Oh, there's a dog back here. It's been a while. <gasps> That's right. No luck. This should be easy. Yeah, I remember this one. Okay. We actually can't do this one yet. We have to go to the uh heavy looking. Get the gas place first. Let's go meet some of these guys. The top of this fence is electrified. Guess what we got? That's the lockpick that we got from Mr. Todd. A roll point click adventure games? Pick up everything you find. Stop going back, go back, go back. It's okay, Ben. I have a plan. Alright. Remember correctly. I hide back here and hide a little bit. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. We'll get those uh Curtis and Mo back over here. Hustle, Ben. Hustle. Where's he running? Remain where are you? Hey, where is he? I told you I nailed him last time. Well, who set off the alarm for? Maybe somebody's just fooling with us. No, it's him. It's that guy you keep missing. Well, if you could hold this thing still while I'm shooting. I'm going down for a closer look. I don't see nobody. He must have run away. Nah, we would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. All right. 
Let me sneak up on him. Don't think so. I don't trust anything without wheels. See, there's sometimes flying is not a bad thing though, Ben. Alright, so next up is the gasoline. Now, I was a kid, it took me forever to find, not the gas cap, right away, but this little green hose right here, it was like hidden in Moe's house, and it was, it was ridiculous. Oh. Just pop it on there. Hey, good morning, Tiffet. How you doing? You're just in time to watch someone guy from, uh, siphoning gas. Hey, who's that down there in the yard? Go, it's Ben. Him. Go, go, Get go. Him. Where? Over there. Quick. You go around the other side and we'll have him cornered. Where'd he go? Let's call it quits, huh, boss? No. Let's call on reinforcements. Maybe I shouldn't have done that one yet. Call reinforcements in. <clears throat> oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Mm, not exactly. Just a pair of new forks and we're on the road. All right. We got the welder back. We got the gasoline. Let's get some forks and we're good to go. Head on back to the uh, Coliseum. Now we're gonna have a gauntlet gladiator battle back here. Now we did get, we got that lock padlock. Now we can lock this door up. Todd's junkyard. Open up, Todd. Oh yeah, I knocked him out. I was taking a nap. Ah, junk. All right, we got a big dog back there. Okay, it's back over here. Let's go hide over here in the car over here. Ooh, fire damage. Forget about it. See right there, got the forks right Just the there. kind of forks I need. Bam. Right on top. Grab them. Let's go. <laughs> Go. The dog ran off for that other way. We have that meat. Put that meat in the car, trap the dog in the car, go grab the forks. Dog jumps in car, eats meat, jumps out, kills me. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Let's just see if we can run faster than the dog. That's a no. Down. Bad dog. Alright. Let's try something a little different. Channeling my old 13 year old self, remember where to go. So we have to go over here and play with a crane. This is back. Oh, there he is. That's right. Let's go. No, 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 no. Here, here. Let me get up in here again. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Hey, Mickey. Just coming to say hi. Down. 
dogs. Happy Friday. Alright, we've got to get this dog. I need to get back in that crane. I don't want to go over there yet. Okay, so I can go there. Oh, okay. Now nah, I was going over there. Okay. Mickey, uh, Tiffet, I'm sorry. I'm gonna might hurt a dog here in a moment. Let's go up in here. back up here again. Put one of the meat and some of those dogs. I mean dogs. I mean some of those cars. Use it to pick up the dog. In my defense... Poochy pooch. Pooch. Come on, come on, come on. Don't have a teeth, mud. Alright, 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 alright. Get up in there, Ben. Come here, Poochy pooch. Let's get those four. Look at him hanging up there. It's all dangling. That's awesome. Alright, it's time to get us back on the road. Nice forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Well, that's it. Dad Wait joke. outside for a minute and I'll finish her up. I'm working on a surprise. I hate surprises. All right, here she comes. <laughs> Am I cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you going to try this thing out or not? Ooh, I wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. <laughs> just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. To the rear of cat.
<laughs> what if I just like burning in the background? That's amazing. after me now. Does Mo have any ideas? Nah. I've already said my goodbyes. Alright. In that case, let's go set that alarm off again. As the little pixel lady just walks around. Back at the gas tower. He's got a lot of nerve, that piece of trash. Let's get him. All units, follow me. Too easy. There we go. Back on the road. Hey, there's the gang. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket Cause I'd had a tank full when she blow my gasket, I surely was thankful Till I head for the skies up above It's a woman with wheels that I love yeah. Come on, old man, I gotcha She made it up there Now, do something incriminate, like ambush somebody Aha, uh -huh. uh -oh. the thickens You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Uh, hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. I'll get her. No. Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm, how about one for the road? Corley? Corley? Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <coughs> Rip Berger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. Minivans. You understand me? Minivans. Oh. <coughs> you gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah. And she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt her first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Marine. 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 Burger's way ahead of me. I just hope Marine can handle herself until I get there. Hmm. Gonna understand. Why'd he bring a camera? 
Who does this guy work for? Corley Motors. Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is Bolus. <sighs> yes, now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? Luke Skywalker is There's not no shack, but I don't see the limo. Maybe I beat the pig. On second thought, maybe I didn't. <laughs> Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. Now That's pretty going. much my only lead right now. Anything else up here? The mailbox. Maybe she left the fill in the mailbox. It's empty. Alright. Let's go back and meet back up with the gang. I don't know what's going on. for returning to the scene of the crime. They'll be coming this way soon. I gotta get a plan. Fast. Let's try option B. I'm still mad at me if the whole, like, uh, pull him down by his nose ring. This sucker's mine. Alright. Look, I really need a ride. I don't think it was in there, Ben. Hey, killer. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, our top story tonight. Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Melonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely and without mercy. Police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Roadblocks suck. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay All low, right. man. I gotta lay low, we gotta stop this guy. Here's the truck driver. Come on, Emmett. Help me out. That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers? They turned me around, said police business only. Pigs. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention nicks and scratches. <laughs> Am I distracting you? <laughs> I can do that. Yeah, that face is a troll ahead. face. Uh, let's try again. Look, 
I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. Ah, let's try this. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. I just want repeat. Good talking to you. Friendly folks you get in here. Damn, it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shit, you're Bye, Mickey. Thanks Whoa. for coming out and hanging out. Look, Games let me tell game. you what Check happened. Check that person out, too. I told you I don't want to get involved. All right, all right, all right, all right. So nothing else in here for me to really check out. Let's go visit our old uh, friend, the dumpster in the back. Ben! Oh, there we go. Over here! Ben, no time to talk. You know, it's stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me. Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? Yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Mm. Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They'd kill me. Get my editor. He's gotta get me out of this. Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks. How many fake IDs does she have? My career is riding on those pictures. Help me, Ben. You're my only hope. Oh, don't worry. I owe you one. <laughs> if Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place, that could be Miranda's camera I saw there. But then, who's got the film? Hopefully Moe does. I've touched it enough. Take that. Quit it! <laughs> Alright, this is for, uh, dish me on the car. And that. Quit it! Worth it. Okay, now we got a fake ID. Let's go talk to Mr. Trucker Dude over here. Or can we hotwire his truck, too? Because we can get through that. Let's find out. Look, I really need a ride. There's no, there's no one in the truck, Ben. Yeah. Alright, buddy. Hold on. Nah. I need a ride here. I need to get to this place. Uncle Pete's mink ranch. I need to go in that direction, too, but the pigs are running the sty at night. How poetic. Here. What's that? Fake federal investigator ID. Could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Hmm. So how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. <sighs> Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. Not a fan of this guy, but... Well, oh, I great. Of crap. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles be on this point. I'm with the feds, chump. Check it out. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's in the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you rude get your man. <laughs> Problem with your truck? 
<laughs> Loose hose and nothing mm. big. I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right over there. Well, nice knowing you. Gotta hit the road, you know. I do not trust this guy. Uh-oh. Loose hose, fuel leak. He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. That trucker's gonna die for what he did. Alright, we made Uncle Peace Mink Ranch, which is good. Let's see if it's Moe's here. The barn's locked. Is that lockpick still? I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Nope. The barn's locked. Open up, you minx. Alright, where else can we go? You go behind it? That's the insignia of the vultures. I can't believe Mo used to be a vulture. But then again, how else could she have gotten that recoil booster? There's a picture of Maureen and Malcolm. Looks like they're restoring an old hardtail together. Lots of bikes. Lots of bikes. Lots of bikes. All right, anything new? I'm not putting my lips on that. Lots of bikes. Lots of bikes. All right. Tough looking padlock. I couldn't break that lock. I couldn't break that lock. Okay, what else can we click on here? Looks like a mink pelt. Lots of mink pelts. Kinda give the room a musky odor. That doesn't sound good. Hmm. This must be the window Maureen stared out of as a young girl, dreaming of her life repairing toasters. That was, that was kind of deep, Ben. Hey, crowbar. There we go. Yes. This little tire iron is pretty convenient. Ah, uh, junk. And a hose I can use on my bike. I don't think Mo would mind if I borrow him. Mo? She took my booster fuel. Uh, why is she running from me? She must think the whole world's against her. I think I know how that feels. Oh, that guy's in trouble. That does it. He's dead. That sign. That means I'm in cavefish territory. Game about Mark Hamill's in it. With cave fish, like cave people. Help me, old Ben. You're my only hope. Yeah. A couple of Star Wars trips too. Ooh. <laughs> 
looks deserted. Maybe the boss was wrong and she ain't coming here. She's coming. We just got here first. That means all we have to do is sit here and wait. Alright. Yeah, this smells awesome. What a stinking mess. Maybe I'll just take a little. Let me let me just let me just pick some up in my pocket. Yeah, that sounds awesome. A lot of weight on those babies. It's bolted on. Bolted, you say? Well, that's all of them. Can't be much holding that up now. Alright. I said a little trap for somebody. That way. Can't go that way. Back on the bike. Back on the bike. There we go. Professor Schmetterling's experimental flying suit. This is the last picture ever taken of Professor Schmetterling. Notice, jumping the Poyahoga Gorge, although tempting, is highly illegal and dangerous. We recommend the recently constructed Poyahoga Gorge Bridge for transgorge travel. Drive safely. The bridge got blown up because of Emmett. One of the gorge's many casualties. Ricky Myron's infamous gorge jump. Go Ricky Myron, okay. He did it. Tightrope walkers, hang gliders, human cannonballs. Many have tried to cross the mighty Poyahoga Gorge, and many have failed. Except for Ricky Myron, the flying torch who jumped the gorge on a stock Corley motorcycle. It was later uncovered that he had modified his Corley with a pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster and an automotive hover lift. Myron said he would I gladly replicate the jump to clear his name, but his special ramp was stolen by a mysterious truck hijacking motorcycle gang. Hmm. Recoil booster and a hover lift, eh? Thanks for the tip, Rick. You're right, though. I'll need that ramp. I just need the ramp, hover booster, and a recoil system again. I remember correctly, we get a lot of that fighting other bikers on that road. This part of school. Father Tor. I haven't seen you since you retired from the Polecats. Hey, Ben. How's my gang doing? Uh, that's a long story. Alright. 
What are you doing out here? Well, retirement's pretty boring, man. So I thought I'd come out to the old mine road and look for trouble. You're picking fights? That's what the old mine road's for, son. All right, fights. You know any way around Oyahoga Gorge? Around it? <laughs> it's miles and miles long, man. What's the matter? Don't like bridges? It blew up. Ooh, sorry I missed that. Well, you could jump it, like Ricky Myron. Cape Fish got his ramp in their hideout, you know. Okay, there's the ramp. Where is the Cape Fish hideout exactly? Somewhere on this road. The entrance is totally invisible, unless you got those weird Cape Fish specs. All right. Any fighting tips, Torque? Ah, Ben, who's tougher than you? He's right, you know. You're right. No one's tougher than me. That's my boy. Father Tork, I need your help. The gang's in jail and the law. Ben, I'm not the leader of the Polecats anymore. You are. Can't you see I'm on permanent vacation? All right. Well, take it easy, Father. Give him hell, Polecat. Okay, so need catfish goggles. Get the ramp. Need a booster. And a hover. What's up, guy? Oh. Slack jaw sitting. Crowd shuffle. Yeah. Weapon upgrade. All right. Guy. Say there, is that a pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster you have there? Why, yes it is. Ta-da! <coughs> okay, I need to get him. Yeah, there's a booster. Oh, these guys again. I already beat you up once. Hey, it's my old friend, what's your name? Glad to see you all rehabilitate. My knuckles were starting to itch. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Cavefish, the goggles, I need to get the uh, one Gibraltar guy for the rocket booster. Oh, here he is again. Alright, let's try a little fertilizer in his face. You drop anchor or something? Sorry. Gotta run! That didn't work. I think the fertilizer is good against somebody if we get through this guy again. Oh, it's a different way. This time you're gonna stay down. You die. <laughs> Freaky punk. <laughs> you're gonna die now. I hate small cats. <laughs> now I'm. <laughs> Alright, back at it. Okay, if fertilizer doesn't work, let's try the chain on him. What's wrong? Let's divers? 
I forgot that about that. A couple of good boosts left in it. Back in the game. All right. So we get the cave fish guy. I'm mean, gonna get the hovercraft thingy. Got the rocket booster. Cave fish guy for the ramp. Choppers, huh? Bring it. How about? Okay, that's not a weapon. Right? See, every character has like a different weapon type. Fish guy. Need the goggles from him. What do I got? What do I got? Oh. Don't don't hit their bike. Chainsaw person. Let's try this out. Grab him more. Oh my eye! There we go. All right. Now we got a chainsaw. Two by four. The soon those cave fish goggles. Speak of the devil. So I need two by four. Come on, poke your head up, poke your head up. Okay, that didn't work. Put oil out. Look at that. Oh, shoot! Okay. Let's do it again. Guy again. Gotta try him again. Need those goggles. Wow, are you really a polecat? <laughs> yes, I am. Well, I hate polecats. <laughs> The chainsaw is cheating a little bit. All right, all right, all right. K-Fish, third time's the charm. Check it off. Let's head up. We're gonna head back up again, bud. Yes! Looking for that like, cave entrance.
just accidentally do that. Kind of cave stuff. Where's the cave then? I almost want the whole thing. Where's it at? Where's it at? Turn. at all. Let's see if I got the little uh, road markers all the way through here. There's the ramp. of the Ricky Myron Traveling Stunt Show. They have a Everything fortress. about these guys is creepy. Right? Skull somewhere. Out here. Don't stop, go. My brothers, we have been visited by a spirit. The spirit of Ricky Myron, come to reclaim his ram. Why do you even hear? He can't use it because he is a spirit. He is only expressing his anger, which we must honor. Oh, angry spirit of Ricky Myron, we honor your rage. But for now, the ram must go back. Bikers do, and they uh, drink too much Kool Aid, apparently. Cave fish. Alright, we need the ramp. You guys are driving us, I can actually see all the little road markers on there. So, we move the ramp. It's gotta be way up. Our clue. All right, let's get back out of here.
a nice little turn. Let's make where they can't see a nice little turn anymore. these boys so we got the ramp we got the rocket booster we need the hover car the hover car let's go visit the guys with the car and uh go steal some stuff off their car Mine road. Look at him run. Come on, boys. Slip in here. That's right, I gotta knock it over. I actually forgot how long it is. I haven't really played it through since I was 13, so. Let's just take this guy out real quick. Well, I'm mad. Oh, exit. No, no, no. He knocked back up that fertilizer truck. Listen to these wheel bolts earlier, and I clearly forgot I have to kick it over too. Kick it. Yeah, Phil 32, this game has been great. I played a little bit of it last week just after I downloaded it. For most of I haven't played the game since. So. There we go. Head back to uh, Uncle Pete's mink farm. Get those boys chasing us again. Our right, audio just glitchy on it. 
better to fix soon. <laughs> Look at him run. Uh, you won't not be so lucky this time. Here we go. Nestor's fault. Get in quick. I have a plan. We're going to lure the quarry women out of hiding with a bike. Ross, hmm. she already has a bike. Yes, but this one she worked on with her father. It's an emotional thing. Don't try to understand. Now hurry. Check out that, uh, that hover. So it's a mirror and playing a uh, motorcycle animated game. I still drive on the right side of the road. That's trashed. I don't touch anything without wheels. Ah, the heavy with the floor. I don't touch anything without wheels. Can you kick it? No. I don't touch anything without wheels. <laughs> That's trashed. Okay. Oh, there you go. There we go. Let's go flying. Looks okay for an aftermarket part. Let's go jump at the gorge. Here it comes, here it comes. Let's do it. Alright, I've modified my bike enough. Let's go, Ben! Make the jump! I know. 
We're back now at the Corley Motors factory. Cool. What else we got here? The Corley Motors factory. Holy ground. What's this place? Stadium. Looks like something big's going on in there. Hmm. It's a question, did Mo actually come back here? I'm already starting to get a little phasey on the game now. Just like the cell doors in Solitary. That's one big door. I'm here for the shareholders meeting. Mr. Ripperger has postponed the meeting until Mr. Corley's murderers are apprehended. All the shareholders were notified. Yeah. Well, I haven't checked my voicemail lately, Mac. All right, come on, dude. Can we keep this door down? Too? Let me in. Beat it. Jerk. Ticket. Let me in. Beat it. Jerk. Ah, we're gonna repeat sign. Corley Motors. I've been meaning to come here for years. This is really a religious pilgrimage for me. A religious pilgrimage with a lot of butt kicking. How has he not been here before, though? I mean, he's. All right. Click on here. Let's go sneak behind it. Power meter. Wow, this place sucks up the juice. It's closed. That was not. It's sealed shut. Oh. It's sealed shut. It's closed mechanically in a serious way. Rusted too. This foundation really needs some work. I'll beat it up later when I have more time. Don't want the power company after me too. Don't want the power company after me, too. That's nothing. This foundation really needs some work. I'll beat it up later, when I have more time. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's pause. Always has to be something. Gotta be something, but maybe it's not something yet. I don't remember. Let's go back to that stadium. Go check that place out. Hey, feel 32. I hope you give me some nostalgia right now. Souvenirs here. We got your hats. We got your pennants. So we got course, it all right here. That's what having a regular job will do to you. <laughs> Official Corley Motors merchandise. <clears throat> what can I get you? Why are all the lights down here? We got a demolition derby tonight. First prize is a vintage Corley hardtail. Ooh. Completely restored by the old man himself. Yep. Well, there's the bait for Mo. What's this big arena doing way out here? Corley built the Smashatorium so his employees could have some wholesome entertainment nearby. He sure took care of his employees. I got no idea what's gonna happen to us now that he's gone. 
Seen any vultures around here? Nah, we don't have much of a vulture problem here, even though their hideout is right up the road. They stay pretty much locked up in there. Not very social. What's in the hat? I don't know. Came filled with it. Uh, Probably some sort of packing material. Packs a punch, I'll tell you that much. I'm looking for a good souvenir. Well, good souvenirs is all I got. What can I fix you up with? Something small, furry, and yellow. Sorry, this is the only set of teeth I got. Oh, God. <laughs> Dang, there goes another one. How about that little car there? It's small, but it's not cheap, my friend. You better just take it for a test drive to make sure. Hmm. Those uh, shirts come in extra, extra large? Eh. Eh, no. But they're pretty shrunk. <laughs> no thanks. What do those pennants say on them? Can't beat a Corley, they say. Kind of ironic, actually, considering oh. how he died. Still, look great on your bedroom wall. No walls. My bike is my home. We could set you up with a little pole so you could uh, make a flag, you know, for your back seat. I'll, uh, think about it. Bunnies, and plenty of them. You want bunnies? I got your bunnies. How much you got on you? Um, can I just take them out for a test drive? I think you may not be ready for the kind of commitment that comes with a Corley Bunny value pack. Sorry, son. Do you actually have any money? As much as I need. Looky here. Nothing personal. But why don't you mosey along and stop scaring away all the other customers, all right? Just clearing my throat. Drive your own derby car by remote control. Ah. Our bunnies come with batteries included. Kinda cute. For a car, that is. Sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't go out of range. Alright. Lovable, lovable little bunnies. The officially licensed bunny of the Corley Motors Smashatorium. We got your t-shirts here. <laughs> All okay. sizes and colors. Fill our handy beverage hats with your drink of choice. Looks like it's getting weak. Oh great, you killed the battery. Alright. Let's go out here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do yet. You'll be keeping cold and looking bold. Uh, you, big feller. Come give our derby car a spin. That's the old hardtail Mo restored with Malcolm. That's the bait. The good old joker. It's the exit. It only spins one way, and it's the wrong way. Okay. I'm not going in there. They all think I killed their beloved leader. All right. I forgot what I'm supposed to do. Okay, 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 okay. Chat, do you remember it? Souvenirs to remind you of your special Smashatorium adventure. Buy your kids a bunny so they'll shut up on the long drive home. Don't be a chick. Excuse me, but are those shirts, uh, are they all cotton? Well, uh, <laughs> let's just see here. One hundred percent cotton. Oh, um, that's too bad. I'm allergic to cotton. Right, first rule. If we don't got it, then it can. stinks. <laughs> it's a whole box of those furry things. Pat the bunny. You know you want to. You just can't get this stuff. Excuse me, but are those shirts, uh, are they all cotton? Well, uh, let's just see here. It's out of juice. What am I supposed to do? I can't remember. 100% cotton. Yep. And it's cheap, too. They got the uh, bunny. I'm practically giving this loot away. What's a couple of bucks in exchange for a timeless memento? 
These souvenirs all have an expected appreciation rate of 300% per year. Don't crowd everybody, there's enough for everyone. That's right, official Corley Motors Smashatorium souvenirs. Don't go away empty handed. Get back in the bike. Jump the bike in there off that ramp. No, no, no. Back in the bike, dude. your hideout just north of here of course feel thank you oh my gosh vulture hideouts are here the vultures hideout on the other side of this field i've heard a lot about the vultures i remember and now i guess it's all true i remember now <laughs> Thank you so much, Bill. Yo, little buddy, go. I need a box of bunnies? Grab that battery. Alright. Alright, so now we can go back. The RC car, Jedi Star Car is through here. Can't reach it. Can't reach it. Oh gosh, come on, come on Ben. No. There you go. There you go. All right, we need a box of bunnies. Ah, oh, forgot about that. I feel you saved the day. Just saying, thank you. Chase horse away. Let's grab that box of bunnies. Let's throw them in a minefield. Oh, so bunnies in the minefield. That's gonna be fun. Buy your kids a bunny so they'll shut up on the long drive home. No. If we don't got that, should put some life into it. There we go. Sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't go out of range. We got it all right here. Don't crowd everybody. There's enough for everyone. Our bunnies come with batteries included. There we go. Come on, horse. Come on. Okay, that's far enough, bud. Let's bring her back now. Hey, don't go in there. <laughs> come on, horse. Come get it. Now look what you did. The entrance is all the way through the factory. Hang on, little buddy. Daddy's coming. Now it's just me and the bunnies. Yup. We got the bunnies.
field's been replanted. Hmm. Tidy little vulture. Unleash the bunnies! <laughs> I love this game. Alright, that didn't give me the four. That's not good. Hmm. No. Don't think so. Alright, uh... I need more bunnies, apparently. They're going to replant it again. Is it not one at a time? Hmm. No. Hmm. Hmm. No. I wonder how they keep it so smooth. All right, all right, I need more bunnies. Hopefully there are more bunnies. I think I did that a little bit wrong. Dang, there goes another one. Now you back. Horse, any more bunnies? All right, let's do this a little better. Let's not waste all of the bunny right away. Yeah, they fixed it again. All right. Can I throw it? No, let's pick up bunnies. Alright, Lone Bunny 1, you're the first up! Alright. Right. To the end of the path. Unleash a bunny. That one did not last long. Gonna make it. Save screen icon. Edit. 
That's the guy I was telling you about, Susie. You sure? Yeah. That's the guy who killed my father. What? All right, vultures! Rack them up! Let's rip them quick. Listen, Mo. You're making a big mistake. Okay, you're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey, I got all night. You heard her, kids. Let's draw this out. Your father. Don't you dare talk about my father, you heartless bastard. Mm. Corley and I. I said shut up about my dad. Okay, no dad talk, no dad talk. Malcolm once. I said shut up about my dad. Okay, that's enough. Mm, not quite. You gotta admit, you're right, this game is an amazing classic. I'm so excited to be playing it again. I'm innocent. You're in something, alright. Alright, 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 alright. I'm losing my temper, Marine. And hey, you're about to lose much more. Let me go, or else. Or else what? Call I'll names. call your names. Oh, I know. <laughs> like what? The diaper dynamo. Diaper dynamo. How? Oh. How'd you hear that name? Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned my father and then talked about old times? I didn't kill him. Rip Burger did. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I... I still have that role. Well, develop it, would you? While I still fit in my clothes? Okay, you stay here. Hey. Sorry. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. don't sweat it. I'm gonna get Rip Burger even if I die trying. No, we have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders' meeting. That way... We take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Ripburger canceled the shareholders meeting. He made a statement to the press that there'd be no meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. So, no shareholders meeting until we're both dead? Hmm. That could be arranged. Okay, so here we go. Oh boy. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. Act one, scene one. Adrian Ripburger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. First prize at tonight's smash-up derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby which yeah. ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. Now, the explosives in Moe's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Moe clear of the explosion and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her rejecting out of her car? No. They'll all be watching you running around on fire. <laughs> yeah, that's another question I have. When your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> that's some plan. All right, then. Let's go blow you little darlings up. All right, folks. Hang on to your chili dogs, because it's time to start. The Corley Motors Smashatorium Amateur Driver Ultimate Destruction Maximum Carnage Marathon. Let's meet our crash cage gladiators. That mysterious looking hooded figure wouldn't give us his real name. He prefers to be known as the Unknown Avenger. And that's just fine with us, isn't it, folks? <laughs> 
now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous the Joker. Disguises? And next to him is another masked newcomer. Please give a big smashatorium salute to the princess of pile-up, Dory <laughs> Schmorley. And finally, we have a last-minute addition to the lineup tonight, a deadly-looking team known as the Boom Boom Brothers.
Finally. Now, squish that firefly while he's hot. <laughs> Look at him run. Finally got him, Bolas. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised, and give us 10,000 shares of stock each. Hmm, funny smell. What's that? The temperature light? Oh! Well, on the bright side, I just made 20,000 shares of stock. Time to start the shareholders' meeting. That would be good. Where's the hard tail? All over the floor, Mr. Avenger. What? What happened to your deep sentimental attachment to your father's vintage bike? Ben, it's just a bike. I can put it back together in about half an hour. That's assuming, of course, I can find that key. What key are you talking about? Key to my dad's safe. I remember he hid it somewhere on this bike. But I've looked everywhere, and I can't find anything that even looks like a key. Hmm. What's in the safe that's so important? My dad's will. I'm counting on him to tell the truth about me, finally. Why did he keep you a secret all these years? He didn't want people to find out about my mom. What's so bad about Mrs. Corley? She wasn't my mom. Huh. 
How was your flight? Well, there were some explosions during takeoff, and I landed in a minefield. But other than that, it was fine. I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. Uh huh. Great. Now help me find that key. But how are we going to get in the factory? In the back of the factory, there's a secret entrance that leads straight into Dad's office. He used to sneak me in so I could help him with his bike designs. When he got too old to do all the work himself. Nah, this is back when I was six. Hmm. hmm. How do I find the secret passage? Well, it's tricky. You have to wait for all the utility meters to turn black. Then you kick the wall in just the right spot and you're in. I was pretty close about that. How do I find the right spot to kick? Dad just knew exactly where to kick it. But I remember that there was this big crack in the wall. And if I lined up that crack with my eye level and kick the wall right in front of me, this weird portal would open up. Hmm. All right. What are we in, anyway? It's a C-330 Big Mouth Industrial Cargo Jumbo Transport we fixed up. We want to get it rolling so we can take it to biker rallies. You're going to try to fly this thing? Rolling, Ben. <laughs> rolling. <laughs> this baby's flying days are over, just like mine. I'll see what I can do. Right. All right, let's go get in. I'm not putting my lips on that. Okay, one five four four nine two four eight zero five three. Hmm. 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 Oh, B six seven seven nine three. Hmm. Hmm. One two four seven eight. Hmm. A lot of little codes hmm. there. Okay, we're gonna do a nice little thing that we have technology for today. I think a picture of these codes. They're writing it down. All right, let's go get in there. Wait. Here, take the photos. I don't want them. Show them to someone important if you get a chance. See what it says at the front door. Just curious how uh one guy's doing down uh, souvenir guy. Sorry, the meeting's already started. I know. Let me in. Mr. Ripperger's giving his keynote address. No interruptions. But I'm a shareholder. Yeah, right. Hmm. Jerk. Nowhere to go, I just want to check out this. What else is going on down here? This boys, these little tiny things are programming these games. Say like more bunnies. We always need more bunnies. Eye level. Your eyes. Okay. Nope. How about right here? Malcolm's eye level. Open up. 
I will crack the wall. But I love Safe and the codes. All right, hold up. All those codes off the, uh, the bike. Those are the all numbers. We're gonna have one, two, four, seven dash B. Is there actually a dash on here? No. Number eight. <clears throat> okay, I still don't need those one. Three, four, five, six. Oh, one number that's six digits. So we'll try that one. One, five, four, four, nine, two. Jing. There's uh, some sort of card. A tape. I sure hope that's Corley's will. It's empty. It's open. All right. Look at that stadium burn. <laughs> That's gonna take a bite out of the pension fund. It was worth it though. All worth it. This is where you put the card. Locked. Okay, fine. Find some doors that are not locked. Looks like the meeting started. Hmm. Was not only an inspirational leader, but also a great personal friend. His loss affects us all deeply. Malcolm and I spoke often of the future. We talked of a day when Corley Motors would move beyond its humble beginnings into a new vehicular age. And although his tragic death took him from us sooner than anyone expected, Malcolm Corley's dream remains. And I shall carry out that dream in his memory. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you the future of Corley Motors. The no. Corley Minivan. <laughs> ah, Corley was right. I never dreamed it would actually come to minivans, though. Hey, who are you? How long have you been there? Oh, security! Help! Security! What took you so long? He ran down the hallway. Move it. Mavis must be saying things. Alright, so 
gift house, Mavis. Projector. Minivans, chat. Minivans. It's locked. Okay. Any cars anywhere? Wait. I got a car. Cool. There we go. <laughs> What you see before you right now is my <laughs> Oh, perfect. This is a disaster. You're telling me we're going to have some major downtime here. Why don't you tell a joke or something? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know any jokes. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of an amusing anecdote. <laughs> About a... Uh, uh, I... uh, oh. Well, I'm out of ideas. All right, all right, all right. Well, this is where you put the cards for the big screen video projector. Bingo. Now, this next slide shows oh. our new, more aggressive corporate strategy. Hello there. If you're hearing this, I must have croaked. Well, people gotta move on, you know, and make room for other people. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. I've made room for someone else to take my place at Corley Motors. And it ain't that embezzling crook, Adrian Ripburn. Rip, you don't belong at the head of my company. You belong in jail. Uh, I let that man talk me into far too many things. Like keeping my daughter a secret. He was wrong. I was wrong. I should have stood by her. I hope, Maureen, that you forgive me. And that you take over Corley Motors and run it however you see fit. All right, that's enough. How do I turn this damn thing off? I... Uh, I'm sorry you had to hear that tape from... One of Malcolm's psychiatric sessions. Mm -hmm. Near the end, he, he suffered many paranoid delusions. He was haunted by powerful forces of his own creation. And here's one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maureen Corley, and do I have a heck of a story for you. By the time I'm done, you'll see why this man should be in jail. Hey! Too. Uh oh. There he goes. And then he sent his goons after me. Go, Ben, go! Run, Rip Burger. When it's time to find you, we'll just follow the shiny trail. Hmm. Yes, of course, we'll have daycare facilities. Any other questions? Oh, speak of the devil. Come over here, Ben. That is great, Ben. I finally where we were meant to be all alone. So, after we pick up your bike, we'll go get my gang out of jail. And then find out why my gang never showed up to help us. And then you go business suit shopping. Don't remind me. Don't complain. You're going to be rich. At this point, I settle for just a little peace and quiet. I was just about to talk about the inherent dangers of murder. <laughs> 
Can't you make this damn thing go any faster? So I took too long. Hmm. <laughs> Let me try that again. Yeah, seriously. Mm. No. Mm. Let me try that again. Oh, golly. What am I gonna do? No. Let me try that again. You can't click it in time. Oh, we can't. All right, hold on. Lift the panel. Use the oh, chain no. on him. Let me try that again. Get the cane. Like the uh. So after we pick up your bike. I feel like you're saving me on this camera now. You're going to kill all of us. Shh, Ben. Don't ruin the ending. How do you stop this thing? From the cockpit! Hmm. Alright, you got the cockpit. Hmm. You're gonna shoot me before through the ladder. Doc! Yeah, okay. Careful, Ben! Oh, yeah. 
so much for the controls. I could have used those. Systems, drag sheets, full deployment. Ah, oh, that'd be so much more fun. Mercy, control loss, brake system, brakes, oh, brakes. Yes. Oh, come on. Military crisis. Yes. Neutralize. It's gotta be something about that. Can't drop a net. Oops. A dope. I turn the stop now. Just thinking, damn. Let me try that again. W toast. We got funny. It's not really bad how day this ending. I can see him. He's out cold. I was not. Climb back here quick. That one ill-tempered mongrel. Jerk. <laughs> Nothing to hold on to over there. Careful, Ben. You gonna shoot us? Yeah. I'm taking you and your friends with me, Ben. All you're taking is the wrong kind of medication. That again. Groundhog's Day again. Ah, 
I need my bike back. Ben! Ben! Climb back here quick! Alright, let's drop this dude real quick. Hans Gruber. Inspiration to us all. He gave us freedom. He gave us power. He gave us wings. He gave us wheels. Thank you, Malcolm Corley, for giving us a dream that will never die. Thank you, Bill. So, so, uh, maybe we could do lunch sometime next week. Yeah, sure. Lunch sounds great. Things aren't gonna change, are they, Ben? I mean, just because I'm in charge of the company now, and living in a mansion, and riding around mm. in limos, that doesn't mean we won't spend a lot of time together, does it? Look, Mo, you're in a different league now. You shouldn't be hanging out with the likes of me anymore. But, Ben, oh, just a second. Hello? What? No, 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 that's crazy. Is he nuts? Look, move the meeting up to five and tell the plant foreman that I'm coming over personally to inspect those parts. I know, I know, that's what I told him. <sighs> Excuse me, what was that last part? No, 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 that alloy was flawed to begin with. Uh-huh, yeah, 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 good, great. Well, that's the game right there. Uh, thanks for joining out. Feel 32, thank you for your help today.